Well, let's start with the question of how do insurance companies make their money? There's lots of ways, but one of them is by not paying the benefits that an injured worker deserves. One of the tactics that they use is called a safety rule violation. When the employer accuses you of violating a safety rule, the work comp carrier is allowed to take a 50% reduction of your wage loss and in compensation benefits. Now, there's a lot of factors that go into the, uh, the carrier being able to take, the, take that reduction. And what an injured worker doesn't realize is that it's their burden to ultimately prove that a safety rule violation did occur. There are three things that the insurance company has to prove to take the safety rule violation. The first is that there was actually a safety rule. Now that safety rule doesn't necessarily have to be in writing. It could be a, it could have been one that is provided verbally. It could be one that is an industry standard. As long as the employer adopted the safety rule and communicated it to you, they're able to prove that they did actually have a safety rule. The second thing that they have to prove is that you willfully and deliberately intended to violate the safety rule. Third, they have to prove that the injury resulted because you broke the safety rule. Of those three, the second element that they have to prove is the most difficult. In my experience, the hardest thing that they have to prove is that you intentionally broke the rule. If you're negligent, if you're forgetful, if it just slips your mind, that isn't enough for them to uh, take the safety rule violation. So let's, let's talk about this a little bit. Let's say you need to wear safety goggles uh, to perform your job and you have chosen for whatever reason not to do this. This has been communicated to you that you should be wearing your safety goggles, that there's a rule stating that you should wear your safety goggles. They've written you up for not wearing your safety goggles and lo and behold, you choose not to do it and you hurt yourself. That would be an example of where they would be able to take the 50% reduction of your compensation benefits. I think any time that a work comp carrier is taking a safety rule violation, that the injured worker needs to get good advice and they should call us. Because in our experience, if you don't fight this in court, they have no incentive to just give you back 100% of your benefits. Call us for a free consultation.